It's Super Videos back at you for another Q&A video. This is going to be my Q&A number 16. So obviously if you're not caught up with The Walking Dead's TV show or the comic book, you may not want to watch this video because I'm going to be answering questions and some things may be spoiled for you. Now, this Q&A video is only The Walking Dead's TV show, but it does involve some comic book material as well. So this is your spoiler warning. Let's start with the first question. The first question comes from Morgan Jones, the role play, and he asks, do you think the souls of the dead characters are there to protect the lineup characters or not just in the lineup, but overall in the series? For example, the souls would be Lori Herschel, Shane, Andrea, Beth, Tyrese, Deanna, etc. So I definitely think they are. Definitely for Maggie, you know, Herschel would be there looking over her and protecting her as an angel, I guess you can say. Same goes with Glenn, Abraham for Sasha and Rosita, Beth for Maggie again, and probably Lori for Rick. Maybe. Just maybe. But in terms of would it be far off to assume something like that does happen? No. It definitely does. The next question comes from Gavin Cottrell, and he asks, Do you think Rick will have flashbacks of the Lucille death scene? Also, will Maggie hate Daryl for Glenn's death? So for the first part, Rick definitely will have some flashbacks. We saw a lot of that in the premiere of season 7, obviously, but I think going from there, we probably will get, you know, flashes here and there, maybe. I could see them doing something like that. It makes sense because the deaths were so emotional for him. And in my opinion, he may even see flashes of having to cut Carl's arm off as well. You know, nightmares about that as well, so definitely. Will Maggie hate Daryl for Glenn's death? That's a tough one to answer. I think there's going to be some tension between Daryl and Maggie, but she's not going to hate Daryl per se. And Daryl will definitely hate himself and will never forgive himself for causing Glenn to die. But in terms of Maggie hating Daryl, I don't think that would happen. Like I said, there will be some tensions between them and it's going to be awkward when they meet each other again the next time. But other than that, I don't think there's going to be any real animosity or hate between them. The next question comes from Jigger the Goose and he asks, Will Francine take Holly's story arc or Sasha will take it? And for people who don't know, Holly's story arc is basically where she gets captured by the saviors and something happens. It's kind of like a big event that happens in the comic book. Not too big, but it's very iconic. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. For people who don't know about it, I don't want to spoil it for them. But in terms of who's going to get that, I don't think it's going to be Francine. I think it's going to be a bigger character. You said, will it be Sasha? Maybe it could be Sasha. But I tend to think that they're going to give it to someone who was very close to the people that died in the premiere of season 7 by Negan. And that person could probably be Sasha, but it makes more sense for it to be Tara because... Tara has lost a lot. She lost Denise, she lost Glenn, and she was very close to Denise, obviously, they loved each other, and she was very close to Glenn as well. And she had some connections with Abraham as well, because they kind of journeyed to Washington, or tried to go to Washington together. And the first time Glenn met Abraham was the first time Tara met Abraham as well. So there's connections there as well. And because of that, I think it makes more sense to give Holly's comic story arc to Tara. I could see them give it to Sasha as well, but it makes more sense to me that they give it to Tara. The next question comes from Alpha Omega and they ask, Do you think Enid has taken over Sophia's role from the comics? Partially, not completely, part of Sophia's comic arcs are being given to Enid, but not all of them. Of course, that could never happen because in the comic book, Sophia and Carl kind of grew up together in this apocalypse and they went through the same things, they witnessed the same type of trauma and pain and emotional distress together. So their storyline is way more connected than Carl and Enid's story arc in the TV show. In the TV show they haven't really known each other for that long but in the comic book you know, Sophia and Carl were very close and they knew each other for a long time. So the next question comes from Stephen Moraga and he asks, do you think the show would make Negan never say funny quotes? 
It depends what you mean by funny quotes. If you mean quotes that involve colorful language, definitely not. In the Blu-ray, yeah, they would have Negan be as accurate to the comic book as possible. But in the uncensored version, in the regular version, they definitely can't have that. But if you don't mean colorful language by funny quotes, and if you just mean, you know, something funny, if you've seen a lot of that from Negan and they're not holding back that and we're going to continue to hear funny quotes from Negan. As an example, in the premiere, Negan said something that wasn't even in the comic book, but it was funny as hell. When he tells Rick, you're giving me a look like I just shit in your scrambled eggs. You know, that was funny as hell. And I would have laughed if the tension wasn't so high for that particular scene. So would they never make him say funny quotes in the show? Of course not, because he's already saying funny quotes already. And they're not going to stop that. The next question comes from T Imperial. And they ask, if you were the director, how would you end The Walking Dead? That is a very good question. And I probably need to do a standalone video for this because anything I say right now is going to be very simple and very easy because I'm just looking at the question now and I haven't really thought about this before. So for me to give a quick answer, I would say I would end it with an epic death from Carl, not Rick, Carl, because I don't want the show and the comic book to end when Rick dies. So in that terms, I want the ending to be some sort of epic death by Carl, maybe in battle, maybe something. And I want it to be something that defines whatever battle they're at. So his death would bring victory to them and long-term victory. And it would be interesting to have a lot of flashbacks from Carl and Rick, maybe even some flashbacks of Shane, maybe some flashbacks of Laurie, stuff like that. So people close to Carl, but that's how I would want it to end probably. Now, if I go back to this in a video, I might have a different answer, but my quick response is I want to see the ending be something along the lines of Carl's death, an epic death to be exact. The next question comes from the black anti-hero and he asks, do you think Shiva will eat one of the saviors? I think definitely there's going to be some sort of confrontation between the saviors and Shiva. Now, I don't know how brutal and how much they're going to show of the actual attack, like when Shiva attacks the saviors, but I definitely think they're going to give you the impression that Shiva does attack the saviors and kills them. And the reason I don't think they're going to actually show it is because Shiva is CGI and it's tough to kind of mix CGI with you know, real actors acting. And of course they can't bring the real tiger and have the real tiger, even if it's trained, attacking anyone. So because of that, they actually do need to use CGI and it's going to be difficult to use CGI kind of mixed in with actual actors involved as well. The last question comes from David Farley and he asks, if Negan were to kill someone really important to Rick, which he did, he killed Abraham and Glenn, in the comics he chooses to let Negan live. Would it go down the same way or would Rick kill him and give us a huge shocker? I don't think they're going to change that. That's too big of a story for them to change. And it would be very surprising to me if they changed that. I think in one way, shape or form, Negan's going to end up where he ends up in the comic book. He is going to live and Rick is not going to kill him. Now, what I think may end up happening is Rick beating Negan basically to death, but not actually killing him uh, to make him suffer even more. And obviously this didn't happen in the comic book, but I think in the TV show that could happen because of how much more evil and brutal Negan is in the TV show. But at the end of the day, I think Rick is definitely going to let Negan live. I think what's going to tie back into this is Morgan as well, because if you remember, Morgan was building the jail cell, which is some kind of foreshadowing as well. And his whole philosophy of all life is precious may actually get to Rick. And he's going to see that maybe killing him was the easy way out. He has to suffer. And maybe this is the best way to make him suffer. So yeah, to answer the question, I definitely think they're going to let him live. They're not going to kill Negan in the TV show. At least not for a while. They may do it later, but before they do in the comic book, 
That's what I mean. But in terms of changing it completely and just killing him, I don't think that's going to happen. That's it for this Q&A video. If you want to participate in the next Q&A video, which I'm going to be doing next Friday, leave your questions in the comment section below. Make sure to put Q and A, the symbol and, and not anything else, because that's going to make it easier for me to find. Um, so go ahead and do that. And I'll be answering your questions in the next Q&A. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll be back for another video.